All summer long, we've been bringing you quick looks at many of our area's museums. Now, one of the pearls on the string of the necklace that is the many museums in our area is the New Hampshire Telephone Museum in Warner, New Hampshire. This collection comes from a family that lived throughout the evolution of telephone communications in our area. YCN had a chance recently to visit and talk with Laura French, who's the director. The Telephone Museum was started back in 2002, and it was the brainchild of Dick Violet, who lived here in Warner. And he also worked in the telephone industry for over 50 years. And there were four generations in the families. And collectively, they had almost 100 years in the industry and had plenty of time to collect most of what you see here in the building. So when you come in here, you're going to see, uh, you're going to start with replicas of Bell's invention. We'd love to have the real ones, we don't, but we have replicas that show how he started and what brought the idea to fruition. Um, from there, we go to the early wall sets that had the, the mouthpiece that you talked into and the handset that you would listen, listen through. Um, from there, it goes to the desk sets. Still work the same way with the, the handset, and, but now you can pull it up to your mouth. You can get comfortable and you're not stuck at the wall like you were. Um, then we go on to the dial system that came in. Uh, it, it spans all types of generations. Um, it really came in anywhere from the 40s up through the 60s. Um, and that brought us the, the speed of dialing and also of bypassing the operators and being able to call people directly. Uh, then came the, the touch tone. We have lots of those touch tone phones that you'll see. We also have tools and equipment that were used by the, the men and women that climbed poles and installed telephones and built lines and that sort of thing. Uh, and then we go all the way up to the modern day cell phones. We start out with the bag phones and the bricks that we used to carry around. And we actually have our first smartphone that was donated to us not too long ago. So. It really gives you a, a good visual of how slowly things started out and progressed, but now how quickly everything's exploded. We put on several special events during the year. One of the most notable is our Fourth Friday series. So the fourth Friday of each month from May through October, we have different sorts of events going on. Um, we, we love the way we end the season is with our movie night in October. This year it's Pillow Talk. We always try to find some sort of communications or telephone related theme. We also have a special exhibit that changes every year. So this particular year you would be able to see our 2016 exhibit called The Art of Conversation. And that features nearly 40 artists, uh, both local, nationally, and a few internationally, all around that theme. If someone would like to come visit us, there's plenty of ways that they can find out about us. Um, our phone number, of course, Telephone Museum, you can call us. We also have a website. And of course, we're on Facebook, all different uh, types of social media. So there's a variety of ways that you can find out about us. As Laura noted, there are regularly scheduled events at the museum that are both fun and entertaining. Now do check out their website and those of all the Warner Museums if you want to make an interesting day out of a visit to their fair town. You can see our other pieces on other museums in town on our website, ycni.com. Now we should know that there are three really good restaurants within walking distance of the Telephone Museum, so it's definitely worth your while to take a trip down there. 